Ethiopia's $4.8 billion Grand Renaissance Dam is nearing completion. It is the largest in Africa and Ethiopia's flagship project. But who is working on this mega project and how important is it to the Ethiopian people? CCTV's Jerem Chala investigates. Approximately 2,000 vehicles and machines operate here and over 9,000 employees daily. They have all helped put together one of the biggest dams in the middle of nowhere. I'm excited to work here and being a young lady, I'm happy to see my country grow. I'm very happy that we build this big mega dam, not only for Ethiopia, but for Africa, and we are an example for the world as well. Out of the 9,000 workers here, 400 are foreigners. The construction is being managed by both Italy's Salini Pregilio and Ethiopia's Metal Engineering Corporation. We uh, are applying the international standards, codes, regulations uh, that are needed uh, when you are studying and at the same time when you are developing or when you are building such kind of uh, dams. So no question, the three aspects that as I have mentioned you earlier, the design, the workmanship, and at the same time, the material are very important while you are talking or while, while you are carrying out um, um, dams or construction like this. So we are 100% addressed, more than that. People from all over the country visit the dams construction site. I am very proud to see this. This day is a special day to me. And I'm speechless. I have no words to describe how I feel, to be honest. And uh, at the same time, I like to say and hope all Ethiopian people and all African people should be proud and they will be very happy. The temperature here can reach up to 50 degrees centigrade and it's obviously challenging for any human to operate in. However, despite the tormenting weather condition, the thousands of workers here in the construction site operate 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Grumtala CCTV at the Ethiopian Renaissance Dome construction site, Guba, Western Ethiopia.